Welcome everyone to tonight's training. All the brand partners and those watching the recording, new, old, some of you might know what I'm going to talk about tonight and understand it. That's good. Repetition sticks. Remember that. So we can never, ever learn enough. We're always learning, always learning. And to those new people, we understand it's complicated in the beginning. It looks complicated. I promise you, as you get into this business, it becomes easy. Knowledge is power. Applied knowledge makes it more powerful. So um, tonight's training is going to be about recruiting, about building a, a building a team. But in order to do that, I want to just take you through the seven fundamental skills of network marketing. And we start with, um, we start with, we start with going back. finding prospects. Now, the minute you get into the business, you sit back and you say to yourself, now what? Well, the first thing you need to do is find prospects because that is, how, that is how your business grows. Your business grows because you have people in your team and whatever your, your team does, that's how you start earning, right? So how do you find prospects? You can find prospects through social media, Facebook. Um, you can find prospects through your contact list on your, on your cell phone, uh, Instagram, TikTok, wherever. Just go into your um, 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 uh, um, contact lists and find 50 names. Find 50 names and invite them um, to, a, to a Zoom call. Invite them to a Zoom call. Obviously, when you, when you, the best way to do this is by going direct to the person. So talk to the people that you know uh, firsthand. That's where you start, right? Get a hold of them, talk to them physically, ask them how they are, um, um, what they're doing, this, that, and the next thing. Be excited, be excited, but at the same time, you invite them into a Zoom call by saying, have you got 30 minutes to spend? I just want you to attend a, a Zoom call, or you can send them a video telling them about, a biz, about what you're doing, okay, and then taking them to, a, to, a, to a, 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 a Zoom call and then following up the next day by confirming with them and saying to them, I'm going to call you tomorrow and I want you to give me your opinion on what you think of what you watched. Okay, and you're gonna you're gonna also tell them that you want to you're gonna discuss with them and ask them what part of the the video that they watched they really really enjoyed. Okay, so once you follow up the next day, you you close it, right? You close it. Now I'll go through how you close it in a in a in a little bit. But um, once you close your prospect, okay, the important thing is what I'm gonna discuss today is. Um, how to get them started effectively, right? Because it's very, it's very intimidating. Yeah, you've signed somebody up and they're in your team and uh, now what? The question is, now what? Now what do they do, okay? That's gonna, that's, gonna, that's gonna instill fear into them and you know what, 10, nine, 10 to one they're going to drop out. As they say, right? Um, if somebody hasn't earned a paycheck in the first four weeks, there's a 70% chance that they're going to fall out, right? So your job is to make sure and help your downline, okay, start effectively, right? And get them onto the Zooms. So there's a pipeline that we all go through, right? There's a pipeline. So people say it takes time. No, it doesn't take time. Remember and remember this, our business it's all about the more no's you get, the closer you come to the yeses. Now, what does that mean? That means that if you get a lot of no's, it means you have spoken to a lot of people, right? It takes quantity to figure out your message. In other words, the more people you speak about your, your, what you're doing, the opportunity, the better you get as you speak to more people. Right, and once you've mastered that recruiting uh, exercise, it becomes very, very easy because you have perfected it. You have got a lot of no's, and the yeses are those that that'll stick in your business. Okay, we call it the recruiting pipeline. So now, once you've recruited 
your first four people. We call it the power of four. This is a very, very important slide because people often think, you know what, I'm involved in network marketing, but now I've got to go out there and I've got to go and sign up everybody. No, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that because at the end of the day, your first priority, remember I said, the first thing you do when you sign up, write down 50 names and start phoning them and inviting them either to a Zoom call or sending them a video to watch and then follow up with them afterwards. So there's, there's me, right? I've just signed up. Now, what's my first thing I have to do? I have to sign up for people. So you start off your list and you phone, you phone people, right? And you get four people to join your business, right? Once you've got the four people, duplication comes in. Now, it's very important that in the beginning, you teach your downline and your downline is your team. You teach your downline the right way. Because if you teach them the wrong way, they're going to teach the wrong way. So our business is about copy. You have to copy and paste. Even on social media, copy and paste. Don't share. Don't share. If you see one of your team members or another team member posting something, don't share that person's post. Rather copy and paste. Copy and paste that post because at the end of the day, you know what? You're in business for yourself and not by yourself. There's people that are more experienced than you in this business. Run with them. Run with them because it's, it's those people that are going to teach you. Right. So once you've recruited four people, you teach those four people to recruit four people. Okay. And if you've done it right and you do it like you've been taught, those four people will go and recruit four people. So do you see the, the slide over here? The slide shows you from four people, suddenly you've got 16 people and then you've got 64 people and it goes and so, and so forth and so forth. So at your 64th sign up, right? Now remember, you haven't signed up 64, your team. You're going to be putting away about 15,000 rand a month if everybody works and they will work because, you know, like all businesses, you can't just recruit and sit back. You've got to go down and help your downline. You've got to help your people help themselves and help their people help themselves, okay? And then once you've mastered that, your business is on its way. And then you will start signing up your personals. Every now and again, you'll pick up a personal, but you have residual income coming. And I'll, in, another, in another training, I'll show you guys how to place your prospects, okay? So that you can earn from the get-go. Okay, so it's called the power of four. Can you see, remember, our business is the same here, overseas, everywhere. We sell the same product, we have the same compensation plan, and at the end of the day, you know what, we have six and seven figure earners, and all, the only difference here is you. So if we practice what they practice, you will earn what they earn. Okay, so I want you guys to take a screenshot of this slide. It's called the memory jogger. Now, the memory jogger is there to assist you in the names that you have to jot down when you sign up. Okay, so it's people who, who earn commission based on salary. So you're focusing on your friends here. You're focusing on people you know, people who run their own businesses, people who are single parents with children, um, people who are currently unemployed, people who love to help others in need. Um, I'm just picking a couple of pointers here, but if you screenshot this and you go through it, I promise you now, you'll start remembering school friends. You'll start remembering people that you haven't spoken to in a while, people that you know that need actually your help, okay? This is where you're going to get your, your team going by just doing this. Don't look for the difficult. Don't look for the work smart, okay? Not hard. And in this business, if you bet clever, as we call it, as we say, figure of speech, you will succeed in this business. So um, if you've screenshotted this, it's cool. Then the compensation plan, guys. Now I've taken you through, and I've taken you through it quite quickly. You can go through the recording and listen to it again at your, at your leisure. But the compensation plan, yes, it, it is complicated in the beginning. But I want you just to concentrate on the first three things I'm going to discuss with you, okay? The first three things is the fundamentals of your business, right? And the first one is, before you start with the compensation plan, what do you have to do? You have to download your new HCA app that's just been launched. Everybody needs to do this. 
You have to download your new H share app, okay? And go into the market, get click on the South African flag, download it. There's onboarding videos there. Watch them. Watch those onboarding videos that the they might talk about 1,500 PV for an ultimate. That's the US. But don't worry about that. This the, the process and system is the same. So just listen to how the business works. It takes you through a whole lot of tutorials. You even get credits for listening to that. It goes to your lifestyle rewards. So download that app because that is very, very important. Listen to the onboarding uh, uh, videos and then know that there are um, various business levels that you must achieve, okay? So let's say you join at an activate level, which is 20 PV. Now, PV, short for point volume. Now, 20 PV, you have four weeks. You have four weeks in which to achieve 200 PV. So by bringing in four more people and then bringing in people, you have four weeks by which to become ultimate. Now, ultimate, we all know. Ultimate is the best position to be in. Why? Because you are gold for life and you are ultimate for life. And with that comes a lot of perks, which I'll show you in the next uh, slide, which is this one. So um, Activate allows you to, to, to operate two binaries, right? A left one and a right one. Now, a business allows you to have one pay line, uh, one power line and two pay lines, an elite, one power line and three pay lines, an ultimate, one power line and four pay lines. So ultimate, obviously, the best place to be, the best position to be in. You have four weeks to do that, right? Four weeks. So um, success loves speed, as, as they say. So as you get in, jot down the names, 50 names. Um, give them a call, tell them about your business, send them a video, invite them to a Zoom call, follow up the next day, and then with the help of a leader or yourself, close that person. And then once that person is in your team, then you show them the ropes. You tell them what I'm doing here today, that's what you tell them to do. So the qualification period, as we said, um, is runs from, from a Saturday midnight, uh, from, from midnight Friday night, uh, to midnight the following Friday. Um, that's, your, that's your business week, right? Your subscription, your subscribe and save. If you're in South Africa, 12 o'clock Friday night, midnight, that's when your subscribe and save goes off. You get given, um, depending on when you sign up, let's say you sign up this week, and this week is a, a, a purple week, whatever, it's, it might not be, but let's say it's a purple week, your week is purple. You get a color chart, it's in the app, it's in the share, a new age uh, share app, you get the color chart and you will always know, even if you go into your back office, it tells you how many weeks to go to, uh, uh, for your subscribe and save to go off. And a subscribe and save in layman's terms is a reorder period, a reorder date. In other words, we're in the health and wellness space, right guys? We, we use supplements, right? Supplements last for 30 days. Subscribe and save is every 30 days, right? Every four weeks. So every fourth Friday, Friday. And generally in that period, you need to reorder. So I, I tend to use the, the term reorder instead of subscribe and save, reorder, because reordering as a member, you get it at a wholesale price, number one. Number two, um, you need to just reorder to the value of 20 PV, which is generally what you need to top up on, on your supp supplements, and you're done. And that's it, and you carry on, you remain commission qualified, and that's the awesome part about this whole thing. So as you see on the screen there, there's 10 ways we get paid. We get paid every single Friday. And I'm going to go through only the th first three, the upfront income and the residual part of our business. The bonus income, you know what? Leave that because that gets taken care of. Well, while you're starting off, you, you, this business takes care of it. Your back office takes care of it. From the 1st of May to date, uh, from the 1st of May, you're going to pay $10 a month. Uh, not you, every new sign up is going to pay $10 a month. That's an upfront fee. That's to take care of your app. That's to take care of your back office. That's just a small little fee, which is a, a small little part in the bigger picture of things that you can make. So retail profits means you, because you're a brand partner, you've signed up and you're subscribed and saved or your reorder is active, you will qualify to buy products at wholesale price. 
and you will be able to sell the products at retail price. Now, the difference between wholesale and retail is between 30 and 40% in South Africa, okay? Which is awesome because that's why we call it upfront income. So you get, you get paid straight away, all right? Then we have what we call the first order bonus. Now, what does the first order bonus mean? It means if you yourself bring on a, 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 a member onto your team personally, that first order that they place, for example, let's say they place an order for an ultimate pack, which is wholesale price 5,930 rand. Okay, 200 PV, 200 PV, let's talk PV. So that first order that was placed is 200 PV. Because it's the first order, you qualify for a first order bonus over and above your base commissions and the other commissions that come with this. You get a first order bonus of 35% of the 200 PV on that first order only. Okay. And in this case, it works out to 1,050 rand. Okay. One PV is equal to $1. One dollar is equal to the currency in your country, right? That's the easiest way to make this plan universal. It's the easiest way to understand it because you talk the same language anywhere in the world. One PV, one dollar, one dollar is the currency of your country. So in this case, I'm using the South African Rand, which is, which is 15 to the dollar. So um, 35, so 70 PV, which is 35% of the 200, uh, equates to 1,050 rand. So there's your upfront income that I'm referring to here, right? The, these are two of the three most important things you need to understand um, uh, with a compensation plan. And remember, the PV runs all the way up. So if you are fifth generation or third or, or second generation, the, if you're above the person on the pay line, you will get the 200 PV as well, and so will the person above you until the top. So it's important to, to know that because PV always runs up. So it might be seventh generation. If it's seventh generation on the pay line, it goes straight up all the way, 200 PV, 200 PV, everybody gets to 200 PV. That is why it's very important to have a strong power line so that that just runs and it generates its own PV and it stays there because your power line um, and your pay line work together to give you the commission, which I'm going to explain to you right now. So that's the retail profits, right? And there is an example of there's the product, there's the ultimate range. You buy um, your price is let's for example just just this example for this uh, for the sake of the slide. It's not uh, the case though. Let's say it's a hundred dollars. Uh, to buy wholesale, your retail price, your retail price is $120, your profit is $20. And if you convert $20 in South African rands for the sake of uh, explaining this is 300 rand, okay? That's retail profit. First order bonus, to make it, uh, to explain it again, pictures. Yeah, yeah, you are, you recruit four people. They all buy the ultimate pack. That's 200 PV, just have a look there. That's 200 PV for the ultimate. It equates to $70 each. So there's $280 on the table there. Your income is spot, uh, uh, your, um, your income position is your spot in the new age network. There it is, pay line, um, uh, power line. It allows you to get paid week after week. So you have a pay line and you have a power line. A pay line uh, or power line is always the stronger line of between the pay line and the power line. The stronger line, in other words, the, the line with the most PV is called the power line. Just remember, more, big, powerful, right? That's your power line. Now, it's important to have PV in the power line because that is fuel for your business, right? Now what you need is a driver. You need a driver or two, okay? In this case, you, uh, you're on the business level. So the business level allows you for three lines, one power line and two pay lines. Okay? Remember the slides before that. So come Friday, the power line, the team in this line here, generated 800 PV. Right? And your pay line over here 
generated 400 PV, and your other pay line, remember 400 and 200 is less than the 100, they're less than the 800. So these two are automatically pay lines. So your, pay, your power line, now your power line gets deducted from your pay line. But um, in order to get paid on the Friday, they take the total generated PV in your pay line, which is 400, oh yeah, plus the 200, that's 600. You get paid 10% of the total pay line PV every Friday. 10% of the 600 PV, $60. And $60 converted into rands, you get your answer, right? So $60, that's what you get because the 400 and the 200 are added up together. Then now you start the new week. Now you start the new week and you say to yourself, now well, what happens to the power line? What happens to the power line is it's used to zero out the pay lines. In other words, the 800 then, you deduct the pay line 400 PV here, which you put over there, and the 200 PV on this pay line, which you put over there. So 800 less the 600, you start off the new week with 200 PV in your power line. And because you've been paid for this pay line and this pay line, you start zero for these two. Okay, remember, you start zero on the Saturday. And if people start bringing in customers or buying product or, or whatever they're doing, if there's activity in your pay line, it starts accumulating again. The same happens with your power line. The same happens with your power line. You start off with 200 because the 400, um, uh, the 800 was used to deduct the 400 and the 200. That's why you start off with the 200. Okay, so that is how the 200 is carried over into the new line to help you there. And then the final slide, guys, I'm going to share some golden nuggets with you guys. And this is what you've got to strive towards, okay? This is what you've got to strive towards. I don't say, I don't like using the term goals. I like using the term promises because promises hold you accountable, okay? So you've got to make promises to yourself because where I'm sitting here today, remember, he or she who holds the clicker gets paid quicker. Always remember that the money is in the front. He or she, she who holds the clicker gets paid quicker. And then when you're busy prospecting and you trying to recruit, bring people onto your team, don't chit chat and waste time because it just allows too much questions and all that. Tell me yes, tell me no, tell me quick, I gotta go. Always remember that. Tell me yes, tell me no, tell me quick, I've got to go. If you're in network marketing, if you've been around like me, you'll know these terminologies because that's the system. That's what you've got to work by because success loves speed and you've got things to do, right? And if you're in a hurry, you sound in a hurry, you put that person under pressure on the other side to say yes or no, okay? Successful people are busy people. Successful people are busy people. And where you drive, where you direct your attention, that's where your energy is going to go. That's where your energy is going to go. You know, I'm going to give you guys an example. The other day, I posted a picture of a Ferrari. I posted a picture of a Ferrari and I said, do you like my new baby? And I promise you, I've got so many hits on, my, on that post. But you know what? I didn't buy a Ferrari. But I'm, I'm living the Ferrari. I'm living the Ferrari because I'm going to get a Ferrari. Why not? I'm living. That's an affirmation. Right, fortune favors the brave. And lastly, iron sharpens iron. And that simply means uh, stay close to the fire. Success breeds success, okay? Stick with those that have been there, that have done it, that have got the t-shirt, and I promise you it's going to uh, rub off onto you. Iron sharpens iron. So that's the training for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining. Is there any questions that anybody wants to ask? I see Gareth's on the line. Hi, Gareth. Welcome to the call. Any questions? Awesome call, buddy. Really good value there, mate. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you, Gareth. Any questions, guys? No question is a stupid question. I'll answer them. If I can't, Gareth will. Questions? 
Let me see here. Marika's got a question. Let me read it. So, Marika, let me see. Uh, where are you, Marika? What do you do? What do you tell people when you approach them? You know, um, firstly, you've got to start the easy route. Go to the people that you know. And don't go, don't go balls to the wall or pull in a china shop type stuff. Go in there, but speak to the person, ask them how they are. Start a conversation. Start, you've got the relationship, right? Start a conversation with those people. Okay, and you will soon hear what their why is, right? What they really want. And then relate to that, show compassion. And then you tell them your story. You tell them your story because they want to hear, they want to hear what you do. And once they hear what you do, they start relating it to themselves. But start talking about something that you know is going to relate to them. Tell them, be excited about what you're doing. And I promise you now, that excitement is contagious. That excitement will rub off onto them. If your posture is correct, your paycheck follows, right? Posture, uh, paycheck follows posture. Okay, not the other way around. So if your posture is positive, if you're excited, if you're there, and if you know what you're saying, and you sound like you know what you're saying, then you will see they will join you. So my advice to you is show them a video, send them a video, let them watch the video, arrange a time for them the next day to, to phone them, follow up, talk about what you've sent them, and then ask the question, are you ready to get started? I hope that answers your question, uh, Mareka. Anybody else? Hi, Nick. Um, so a lot of people in the team at the moment are saying that their families and their friends are not interested. Okay, so I've spoken to them about, you know, cold calling and connecting with people on social media. And uh, their concern is that they're going to get a lot of no's. What would your advice be towards them? If, you know, if they're going to get a lot of no's, what would your advice be? You know, the first thing, the first thing you've got to remember in network marketing is you have to, um, if you have to be able to accept rejection because you're going to get more no's than what you get yeses, number one. Number two, a prophet's never welcome in his own home. So you mentioned family and, and friends. You're going, to get, you're going to get rejection from them, but what I would suggest you do with your family is they're going to all try and talk you out of it and go all the way and tell you it's a pyramid scheme, Ponzi scheme, whatever they're going to tell you. You know what you do? You just tell them, listen, I understand. I understand you don't want to join my business. It, it's fine. I don't have a problem with that, but I want you to promise me or do one thing for you. And they're going to say to you what? Tell them, I want you to support me. That's all. I want you to support me in my business. You know? And there you'll see. Um, They'll support you and eventually join you because once you start the moment, once the momentum starts coming in, they will start joining your team. You know, um, uh, uh, Jared, um, um, Gareth, Gareth uh, put a question there uh, just to answer the previous one, ask questions. If I would you, so if I show you a video, or give you a video, would you take 30 minutes to watch it? Or if I invited you to a Zoom call, would you come and watch it and allow me to phone you tomorrow and let's discuss it? The if I would you is very, very important. Okay. Thank Gareth, you, do you wanna do you wanna say anything there? Gareth? Hello, buddy. Yeah, I think the biggest thing, guys, is it's all about the conversation. You know, don't be scared to ask people. Everybody right now is looking for something more, whether that's for their health, their wellness, the finances. Everyone in the world has just gone through COVID, you know, the pandemic and all this. Many, many people were affected physically, mentally, as well as financially. You know, so don't be afraid to ask that question. Ask people, you know, how have you found the last couple of years through COVID? Get the conversation going. That conversation will then lead to a pain point, which you can then talk about. That might be, I struggled financially to feed my family. You know, I struggled with my health. I have long COVID or, you know, that then starts the conversation. It's funny you should say that because I recently have just found something that's helping me with my extra side income so I can afford a little bit more food on the table. Or, you know, I've found something that 
uh, has been working overseas, which has great effects on the body to help um, give you more protection against viruses. For example, Noni, which you guys are going to be receiving soon. So it's about the conversation. Look at what your niche is within your product line, your brand, what you like to promote and ask the right questions, which will bring people onto that subject, which you can then discuss and show them what the solution is to their problem. That's the biggest thing. You've got to use these guys, okay? And, and really listen to them and find their pain points. And then you give that pain point back to them. For example, if someone's struggling with their, their weight, they're really finding it hard physically to do things they used to love, then you talk to them about that particular thing and say, look, I have a solution that may help you. I've seen great results from it over uh, the past few weeks or months, uh, not just in Africa, but across the world. Would you be interested in finding out more information about this particular product that can help you? If they say no, say, well, you know, you've just told me this, this and this. Are you really happy? Because this could be the answer to help you with those problems. And if not, it's a money back guarantee product. So it's just, you know, trying to have that conversation, have fun with it and be proud of what you've got, because what you have is incredible, both from a business aspect and a product aspect. You should be able to be standing proud with that. And like Nick says, have that posture because you have the golden goose and the answers to their problems. 100%. 100%. Anybody else? Thanks, Gareth. Hi, Nick. Hi, Nick. Hey, Dave. Is that you? Um, what would your advice be if, um, if people come to you and ask for example, you know, I've lost a lot of weight. Uh, what are you using? Or they come to me, I'm not going to them. And they wanted uh, information. So I give them the information and then, you know, I give it, let maybe one or two days go by and then I follow up and then they ghost you. What would your advice be on um, situations like that? Would you just say okay maybe they're not the timing's not right or they just they don't reply back so Dave, did, they come to, did they come to you they come to me so they came to you because they they know you in the business or they came to you and told you about the issue uh, they came to me uh a lot of them uh i some of them i know some of them i don't some of them have commented on my reels then i send them the information and but then i follow up but they don't reply back to any of my messages so what i would suggest is you know um maybe change that approach if they asking you for something, set up a time to call them and while they warm, let them take a product. Don't allow them space to go away and think it. Because while they while they warm, that's why they got hold of you. That's why they contacted you. They want you, they want what you've got. And number one, number two, be excited about what's happened to you because they're curious to see now what happened to you. That's why they called you, you know? Um, I think that's what I would advise. Gareth, have you got another way? Um, no, I think the biggest thing is maintaining the communication there. There are people that do have, you know, things going on in their life where they've got more priorities. So they may ghost you. You know, you're probably thinking from the other end that they're ignoring your messages for a certain reason. Maybe they don't want to buy the product, but actually on the other side of things, they might be going through some issues at home or whatever, which is a reason why they're not coming back to you. So always try and maintain that communication link. Once you've tried once or twice with a follow up three times and then give them that little bit of a break. And then every now and again, just just keep reaching out, just tagging them in your little posts. Ask, ask them how they're getting on. Hey, you know, last week we spoke about your weight loss journey. How you've been getting on so far? I know we spoke about the products, but how are things working for you at the minute? You know, and and just just never cut people off is what I will always say. I've had people come back to me two years, and some cases now have never even took a product of mine in the five six years I've been with the company. But you just maintain that uh, that relationship. 
you know, you always remain positive. You keep the consistency with your posts and what you are uh, you're achieving for people. And they will always come back because a lot of people go back to what they know. And that's the thing that's never worked for them, which is why they've always come to you at some point. It's that comfort zone. So you just got to maintain that, that, you know, that, that positivity of you are you, you're doing what you're doing. And this is what I have. And you will come to me when the time is right, you know, but just never, never cut people off, stick them on a little file or whatever, and always go back to them, check in with them, set reminders on your phone. You okay. Just send a little quick message. Hopefully well, just thinking about you the other day, uh, you know, just send you a little quick uh, a hug, virtual hug. Hope life is treating you well. Let's catch up sometime soon. Little things like that. Okay. Cause that will attract people back to you. I do that, Gareth, uh, Gareth. Um, you know, if, you know, they don't uh, reply back and then I do leave it a few days and, you know, I don't, same as what you said, I, I'll just say, hey, you know, how, how are you doing today? And uh, same thing, they, you know, they don't, they don't reply back. Um, but, you know, I do, I am consistent and i do you know do my posting every day and i do follow ups and and that yeah life happens and i i get that and stuff but um yeah but just thanks remember, that's a great just remember you're never going to get everybody and i I, no. used to, I used to get offended like no way they don't want to buy from me but in the uk there's 67 million people in africa there's millions next always remember that next yeah. Next. Next. yeah. Don't leave the field. Don't Work the leave the field, yeah. as they say. Just move yeah. on. Build the pipeline. Work yeah. the pipeline, generate your leads, and move them through the flow. Next. Next. Anybody else? Sorry, Nick. I have one more question, if possible. You have 10 more. Okay. <laughs> so I have so I have a, a couple of people who are starting to build quite big. And obviously, because we've not yet launched, they are looking for a way to be able to uh, keep all the details of all the team, all the people that they're enrolling. Um, they're, at the moment, they're just doing it on paper, but they said it's just getting messy. Is there a system on the computer that they would be able to like put all the details into a system so that they can literally like download it all onto a or, or onto the uh, the phone because most of them just have phones. So is there something that they can use in order to like save all of their info in there? Uh, Gareth, you can answer that because I saw you type the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> I got excited then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Firstly, if you do not know who Tim Sales is, and I'm sure you should all yeah, we will do. Tim Sales, okay, he has a system called the Pipeline. All right, and it's it's encompassed with a thing called Trello. I'm gonna I'm gonna post the link to to Nick. Nick can then post out to everybody here. The the Pipeline guys is an amazing system online. It's a Trello account, okay, a CRM that you can use and fill prospects, names, individuals, details, and you can manually move the cards across your pipeline from generating the lead, initial contact, setting up a meeting, uh, watching a presentation, the follow-up, whatever you want to call those categories, and you can move them through and manually place them around so you know where you're at with that individual, write notes on them, etc. It's also downloadable to your phone. So when you're out and about, you can put the details in and even move them across, okay, manually. It's a brilliant system. And every leader that I know in New Age that has had great success uses the pipeline. There's even some leaders that I can name who don't work with anybody unless they're using the pipeline. And that's the first thing they'll say to you, is your business not going the way you want it to do? Show me a pipeline. Yeah. Generate any leads this week? Show me a pipeline. And they go, because uh, 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 I, I was that guy. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the pipeline is brilliant. Honestly, guys, it's a CRM system. I'm sure there's other ones out there, but it's a great tool uh, and there's a great system to watch. And it's all free as well. So I'll send that link to you, Nick, to pass out yeah, to you guys. Thank you. I'll pass it on. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Anybody else? Okay, guys. I hope you found value. That's us for tonight, today. Um, we're back again on Tuesday. 
Thank you, Gareth. As always, appreciate it, buddy. Uh, thank you for joining, everyone. Uh, and we'll see you again on Tuesday, right? Thank you so much. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Nick. Thank you so much, guys. Good Great call, Nick. Thank you. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Gareth. Thank you.